Well, 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 welcome on another fabulous Friday in the Den of Randy's. A uh, little experimental going on here. Uh, just trying something out. We got two batteries. This one is junk. I got it. It had three volts in it. I totally dumped everything out of it. Obviously, I saved it. I don't dump it down the drain. Rinsed it out like five times with the hose down each hole. And just every time I dumped it, man, just nasty, sooty, black crap come out of this. Something that I've noticed and seen a couple times online and read about is using Epsom salt. I'm like, what in the world? Two parts distilled water to one part Epsom salt. So I did one liter to two liters. Two liters distilled water, one liter of Epsom salt. You guys... Hope you all know what this stuff is. It's just salt like shenanigan stuff. Like that. Like all crumbly goody stuff. And it makes you feel good when you are got sore joints and that. But anyways, so I did that with that battery. This battery here, the big fatty. Okay? Now this battery, I just put, I was lucky enough to have some, uh, I <laughs> keep wanting to say alcohol. Yeah, it's got all, it's loaded. It's all wasted. Yeah, it's got uh, battery acid in it. Straight battery acid. I dumped the old out. It had 12.87 12 uh, was it? 12.87 volts, but it had no kick to it. No, no, no uh, well, girth. We'll say girth. All right. We'll keep it keep it kid friendly. And uh, that's the problem I've had. It's just. The battery isn't made. I'm actually going to make my own uh, put-together battery, probably out of nine cells of uh, lithium-ion batteries and a whole BMS and all that. That's coming along later. But I just want to get through the year. The snow's going to fly probably in another month. And once that happens, the bike's done for the year. So that's my only vehicle. That's my only way of transport. So I did that, dumped it, and just so we know where we're at. Come on show up 12.3 it was like I said 12.87 when I last checked it before I dumped all the fluid 12.3 I did nothing to it okay now something neat here gots to show you gots to gots to this was at purely 3 volts before I dumped everything out I tested the fluid on it tested it with this ball tester set up here alright That's it actually come on now it's not, it's not fun and games here. There's five balls in there, and by how much they float, five is overcharged, four is perfect, uh, three is 75%, just like that. You know, it's not that hard. It floats in the fluid. Get it down so you can see it here. See, there's, there really is. There's balls. You know, it's not that big a deal. And uh, it, it was totally dead, zero, getting a zero out of it. Now, something neat here is I did the Epsom salt. Now the key with this is you got to simmer it. You don't want to boil it, but you want to simmer it. You want to cook it hot. I had it at uh, 350 for about 20 minutes, just, just to where it's starting to get steam off of it. And the Epsom salt, you want to keep stirring it every couple minutes and it dissolves into it. So again, that's what I read about. I didn't believe it. I've asked people about it and they kind of laughed at me, but I said, what the heck, I'll try it. I don't need a battery like this for just really it's going to sit around honestly because uh i don't have a vehicle besides my bike i don't drive enough to be able to afford that in the beautiful state of new york that likes to tax the sins right out of your soul but anyways back to reality three volts what it was i dumped it and rinsed all that garbage out of it and just put purely that in it with no charge four volts already okay pretty interesting now, this is going to be an experiment. We're not going to be able to finish it. There's going to have to be a part two and have to get all messy and get more people involved and get real scientists and that. But try to keep it simple. Now, again, it's two parts distilled water, one part of the Epsom salt. But the key is you can't just stir it. you got to warm it, simmer it like. You don't want it boiling, but kind of almost. Uh, and the other thing I want to show you here. Well, I, before I start charging them, oh, I guess turn this guy on. So, this, I was trying to film it before to show 
kind of how to dump this in and it seemed a little easier because it's kind of messy you know trying to it's real finicky getting it to each line here yeah line 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 hold on i'm trying not to spill the sulfuric acid all over the place line 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 yeah i did good you'd be proud of me i tell you so that's what's in the little guy here come out of this big honking thing that well, it's given to me actually by one of my good neighbor friends. So that was a nice gift actually. But hopefully I can get a couple more cranks out of this. And uh, basically the bike starts and that's it. It just it just has nothing to restart it, even if the engine's warm and it just doesn't take much. So then I got to push start it and yeah, that's. Uh... Worst case scenario of that happened today, but I'll get into that. Get this on the charger. I want to get it where you can see the charger once I... So you get to see kind of the numbers as they as they bounce. To see what's going on. Don't focus on that, you rummy. You rummy -o. Hopefully you can see that right there. It's going to turn red, which probably even going to be harder to see. Let's see if I can get you on it. Try not to bounce you around the room a couple times. Come on. You could do it, man. I hope you guys can uh, do something there. Please show up. Please show up. Please show up. So, red positive, black on negative. So, it's going to turn red here once it starts. It realizes that there's an actual voltage. So, if you can't see, it's flashing 7.5, 8.3, 8.4, 8.6, 7, 8. 8.9, now it's showing that the battery is empty, 9.2, 9.3, 9.3, 9.4, 9 9.5. So you can see it's it's coming up, you know, it's doing something. I want to pop the, uh, the little vent caps in the top just to let it vent. I ain't going to pound them in. Uh, make sure they go the right way. They got a little schnotch on them to match the schnotch there. And, uh... Uh, yeah. Oh, kicks the uh, push start the bike. So I stop at my, my, my uh, whatever and uh, in the town. And uh, all right, I got to push the bike. I, I got a little hill in front of me. I know it's enough that it'll let me pop the bike, right? Well, I didn't count on school cutting out. And they got the crossing guard. Now, as I sit on the bike and I'm off to the side of the road, on this side, there's an intersection right behind me. And the crossing guard is crossing right here, right behind me. And traffic's just all backed up because school let out and it's a little town, right? So, I, I, how the heck? I got to wait for, like, not just like a spot to pull out. I got to pull out, not get run over by someone turning. And I just don't trust people. And anyways, it worked out perfect, though. I sat there looking like a dope. For a while, one of my buddies goes by and waves at me like, what the hell am I doing? And the crossing guard comes out to let the guy in front of me, he's standing there. He freaking actually waits for me to push the bike past him and then he crosses. So it worked out perfect, actually. And uh, I pushed it down this, I mean, it's not much of a hill at all. Uh, right by the bridge and uh, ba bop bop And I did it as I was on the bike, so I'm... I'm doing one of these guys, you know, <laughs> please don't fall, please don't fall, but it whoop, whoop, popped right up, started, and that's good, I made it home, so, yeah, we're at 9.6, it stalled right out, now we drop back down to 9.5, I do want to get a charger on this, so I don't bore the crap and pants out of you, and uh, my boring stories, and uh, get it, get it, get, get it up, something, right, that's what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do it. Come on. Come on, kid. Get in the game. Alright. Let me just pop this guy on. Uh, I got most of the spillage cleaned up here. Um, but I, I really am... I'm, I'm floored by this Epsom salt and distilled water. I never heard of it. My dad just about laughed at me. And I'm like, no, I mean, it's not like one article where someone just flabbergasted. No, I mean, like, legit, that's the deal. Like, they were talking more about that than they were about, sorry about that, just, that's where the plug is, that's what I gotta do. Sometimes you gotta 
interrupt the scene. And this thing's all over the place on me. You know these are going to start throwing sparks any second. Oh, yeah, not bad. Yep. Obviously, this isn't my main workbench. This is a little guy bench. But let's get this clamped on. Get this in 12 volt. And that's going to be at 6 amps. That's going to be ca full capacity output. But I do want to see uh, what it's going to do. And I would like to get the meter on that. Let's not throw sparks. Is this meter going to... hope you guys can see this guy. So we can kind of monitor what's going on here with this. Now. Oh, yeah, it's buzzing. So it's on. Okay. 12.7. There we go, 12.9, 13, 13.12, 24, 25, 26. So we'll just give that a minute just to kind of see what it does. It's showing on the panel meter, it's, it's nothing real fancy. About three and a quarter amp draw across the... Uh, I actually think that the sensor on that is just a, it's a wire sensor. The wire goes through it. In fact, I think I have one. You guys can see, just see that, huh? Come on. Get in the game. Let me take a peek here. I think I have the exact same one over here to show you what that one is. No, no, yes! Yes, for once, something works. See, just a guy like this. Hi. See, just a little panel meter. If you could see, it's got zero, five, ten. Not nothing real accurate, but it's a one wire gimmick. The wire just goes right through here. The power wire goes through there, and then it's fed out through the uh, the thing I took apart. And no, I can't think of the name of it. The circuit breaker. Uh, it has the heating thing on the bottom. When it gets too hot, it the bimetal goes bink, and it opens the circuit. Yeah. Then it goes through that, and then out the red wire. So, hey, red wire. So, we're at 13.98. Now, that doesn't mean the battery's at that. It means that that's what it's putting in it for energy. Now, this one, old, green, uh, old, old big sloppy here, big flobble, uh, done charging, which is odd look at that green green means done green means happy now it's got a battery symbol and it has a wrench or no it has an x through it so what the hell so it climbed up and then it took a nosedive explain that to me oh i had the red on the no i'm i'm i didn't i had it right uh one other thing i did do i didn't tell you guys yet is uh, and I drained and squished and wished it all out. Uh, the last thing I did is I put it on my 10 amp charger for uh, for like five seconds, the right way, and then I flipped it the other way for five, maybe eight seconds at the max, the other way with it totally empty in that. And is what that's supposed to do. Um, it might need to be have to have the fluid in it at the time but you still got to rinse it out anyway it's supposed to actually take any like debris and stuff that's caught on the plates and it actually like shocks it off it like because it's uh over time i guess it's not static but you can think of it as like a static charge it's statically clung to it and by doing the opposite you kind of zap it and it kind of knocks it loose knocks it off to uh to then float down the drain pretty much you know and again that's after i still have the main acid i will dispose of that correctly okay i'm back on game on game on so we're in the red we're at nine we're at nine three all right just watch that one more time and then we'll uh cancel christmas call it uh call it a, a, a night a day a, a, a thing call it a deal but uh, just something. I, I was just curious. I didn't know if anyone else is curious, so I, I figured I'd slap this together and see what happens. Um, what are we at? 
ten point four on that gimmick. Hit that ten point four is just in there, staring you down the face, giving you facial. Frio. Here we got another guy, a new, a new fancy. Look at this. Look at. Somehow it's gonna, if I ever figure it out, it's gonna actually put right up in here, right there. If I ever figure out how to get it all set up, the actual voltages that I'm measuring instead of having to do it the freaking uh, the schlub way, which is the way that I do it right now, but. Gets the point across, right? All right. So we want. Don't care about amps. I want to see. I see DC. Boy, I sure hope that's AC and DC. Yes. I was gonna say I wouldn't have bought it if it. Uh, if I can get this in the shot, I have no remote idea why in the world they have the kickstand on this thing is like halfway to freaking China now if you live in China don't take offense that's I'm just explaining that look at this here you go but it actually works out good on the camera because it shows up better because if it was like a normal kickstand you know up in here you guys ain't gonna be able to see it and at my desk it's gonna have glare so I'm I'm trying I'm trying to put it together. I'm trying to look professional. Professional. Forty two volts. What? Seven point nine, seven point eight. Now it's cooking down. I don't get that. I wonder if it needs to be uh You know, that could be a little bit too high. Nah, that's a big ass battery. Maybe that little one I could understand. Um, you'd want to trickle it in a little more, like a 2 amp, but well, this one's doing a, I'd like to actually check that too, that'd be cool to check with this, uh, man, it is, it's counting down, ain't it, now, now it just cut out, so it's down to nothing, it's showing nothing, so it cut out there, See, it actually bounced up. It's got something weird going on. Uh, I'll check the fluids and everything. I'll try to pop that open quick. Just to, so you know I'm professional. Yeah, they're right up, right up where they need to be. I mean, they're not... I, I, I wonder if it needs to be, like, burped. No, not even that. It's not burping around. It's probably toast. I mean, there was a lot of crap that came out. I mean, like soot is exactly what it looked like. I would like to get a uh, shot. Yeah, I can. I think I can do it. Get a shot on this one. Let's get this out of the way. Yep. Spark. Throw sparks. Eh. I'm not clipping the wires together, but I do clip it to the little end cap gimmick. Then I don't care. I'll clip it right to the wires there. They're good wires. What do you want? Uh, we're going to go mega amps. And I'll try to get in between here. I got to actually get into the circuit to do this. I think I stand a better chance. Now that one has its own clamp, so I can keep that on there. Let's put this here. You know, I'm going to want to move that to 10 amp. A 10 amp. So I don't want to blow the circuit out. Let's see if you can see that. And I just got to connect this in between. I like the, the sleeve on that. That's cool. What do we got? Oh, come on. That ain't right. How is that right? 700 milliamps? No. Bad connection? Right in the guts here. Right in the... 
Right in the Jimmy. I wonder if I... Nah, you can see where I'm clipped. I'm clipped good. Okay, so pressure doesn't really... Oh, if you see where it's gooped up back there, that's just the bolt, the the nut that sits, that's actually a flat-sided nut that sits behind there. And then when you loosen it, the thing falls and you, you always lose it or it never, when you go to put it together, you put the clamp on or the cable together, the thing slides out right when you had it all set up. Yeah, that's why I do that. What the hell's going on here? Okay, that fell off. So 14.4 over there. We're still struggling here. Why are we struggling? I don't understand why I'm only at 700 milliamps. Micro and milliamp range. That really didn't make any sense. 506, right around 500 milliamps, so half an amp. Let me, I'm just going to flip the switch here quick. 6 volt, back to 12. It's showing 2 here. Not sure what's going on with this deal. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll pull this. I'll get my current clamp. My clamp clamper on or gimmick. That'll tell us. Let me zap this back together so we can kind of monitor that. Stay in there, you, you hose bag. Come on, hose. So you guys can still see that one good. I'll get this one right out of here. Probably knock over five different things. Uh, one more time, I'll get the voltage on, on this guy here. Five point two. Four to five point two three. You see it dropping slowly. So I mean, it's weak. It's really weak. But oh, flipping mother, caught right on them. Yeah, flopping here. Come on, shut off. Shut up. Shut up. Do what you do. Shut down. Come on. Flip the switch. All right, bring old current clamping. Clamp trans. Oh, that's AC. Dang. My AC guy. All right. Yeah. Finish this because it's dinner time. Okay. Two amps. That's what it's showing. We'll put it at two. Uh, select. I got to zero it out. Want to get around it don't matter but i do want to get it where you guys can see it bring this down let's get right on can you see it there no it's gonna be upside down i'm gonna move this This one will work. I want to zero it out. So right there, we're good. Why didn't it not zero? Oh, I hit hold. Damn it. Still at DC zero. And you don't want to move this too far from what you're doing because it really throws it off. And no magnets around it. I think the light will help you guys. Uh, about 0.7 amps or uh, 700 milliamps. So yeah, I was reading right. I don't know why it's so low. But actually, that's a good that's a good thing. 
small battery like that, I don't really want to yoke a bunch of... Actually, that could be the battery. Let me just... Just the, for schnats and schmats. Schnarts and schmarts. We're going to hook this to big old Grumpy here. And uh, see what Grumpy Pants does. Alright, we're not blowing nothing up. So it's hooked to Big Grump. Big Grunt Grump. And... Stand, stand, make him stand. Come on. Hang in there. Yeah, 15 volts. Wow. And, wow, amperage is way down. Get that. Still at DC. Zero it. Positive is on positive. Ah, wow, 15 milliamps. So this battery is just showing, must be showing high resistance. If it was lower resistance, it would be pumping. You'd probably actually end up hearing this working. Switch it again. It just 25, so quarter, or yeah, 25 uh, milliamps. A quarter, nothing. So it's not the actual battery, it's... So this battery's pretty much waxed. We pretty much can bet on that. I can go in the shoe shine bin. And I'll hit this one just one more time, and then we'll, I'll let you guys go, because you're probably falling asleep on me, and I'm sorry about that. Really hit a lull here. Really dulled it out. Really killed it. I squashed it. I really do. I, I can't express this enough. How much I appreciate anyone that stops by. Feel free to comment, share, subscribe, or anything. Uh, I freaking absolutely love it. I love the whole YouTube universe thing. I think it's the excellent idea. It's a way to bring the world kind of closer together. When you can put a face to someone across the world, I, I just think that's neat. And now I got a subscriber from Russia, from uh, China, um, one that moved from Macedonia to Australia. Um, I, I mean, that, that is, that is what, that, that kicks me right in the pants, like in a good way, like motivates me and, and that puts a darn good smile on my face. That is cool to, to be kind of just in a tiny way affecting someone across the the map you know and uh anyone that's out there let me know where you live or where you're born and living now or whatever you know i'm here in western new york and listen i'm talking western new york we're talking almost sticks like there is more okay uh 10 years ago there was more cows in this county for population than there was people so just so you know like what i mean by sticks you know um, I don't think it's like that anymore. Over the last 20 years, we've lost a lot of farmers. So, all right, we'll kick it back on this one one more time. And we'll kill the show. Still, DC, I'm smelling fumage now. And you can hear the fans going. I got, I zeroed it out. I should have had it closer, but uh, almost 700 milliamps again. So, yeah, 14.5. So, it's it's kicking nice. I, I uh tell you one last thing i'm gonna pull right now pull it right off and i just want to test to see what the voltage is on the battery by itself without the charger that's one that interests me the most now remember 12.87 was doing nothing now see it's 13.53525550 that's weak you know, that is definitely, that is how you can tell you got a really weak battery is when you can watch it drop just by the resistance going through the multimeter, which is, you're talking probably mega ohm, you know? I I mean, no, I wrote it on this one, 10 megs. 10 megs is this one. 
and that uh, the ton mags I believe that's in ohms mode I'm not sure eight something mags yeah ten mags so that definitely ain't cutting it but get up if we can get up to 13 I think I'll be all right then we'll, uh, we'll do the big uh, the big heroes welcome on the uh, lithium ion it's gonna probably be a three by three. 3S, 3P, so nine all together, lithium ion batteries. It, if they're roughly two to 2,500 milliamp hours, that should give me right around, what did I have figured? Um, da, 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 22, 12, 9, 10. Uh, I, right around 18 milliamp hours, which actually, this is actually the other one, just like this battery, if you look, was an 18. This is a 20 here. 20 amp hours 12 volt 20 amp hours the amp hours is the actual power that you're you're you have behind your voltage the the thrust of your voltage like like it uh can almost equate into what would be your cranking amps cold cranking amps, all that you know it's just a little bit different formulas and temperatures but that's what uh, the problem i have because just testing it and having 12.78 or 87 you know that to me is a good battery all day you know but the little guy just couldn't didn't like it but anyways i'll let you guys go thanks very much hope you guys have a great weekend thanks for stopping by really just love you all